Hello, uh, my name is Eric. I'm the Client Services Manager for the IT Division at Charlotte County. And this video is a quick explanation for creating an unread mail search folder to be used inside of Outlook 2010. Uh, the purpose of the unread mail search folder is to provide an easy way to see all of the unread mail contained within personal folders inside of Outlook. So for users who take advantage of the ability to use uh, message filters to take email from a particular person and, and dump it into a, a folder that they create, then this is an easy way to see exactly what's going on with their, with their mail. Because here, with my inbox collapsed, I can see that I have 36 unread mail messages, but I actually have more than that. <clears throat> it's just that there's only 36 of them in the inbox folder. If I expand some of my other folders, I can see that I've also got 16 unread messages in the Footprints Time Report. And I've also got a message in un and registration receipts and 11 in the service desk folder and uh, so on and so forth. So rather than having to expand every single one of these uh, trees in order to see where it is, I want to see all of my unread mail across each one of these folders. And so to do that, I scroll just a little bit further down and you see search folders. This is uh, an area inside Outlook that's provided by default. And uh, if I open that up, I can see that I've already got a couple of things that I can filter for. So um, there's some useful bits here, but the one that I want isn't here. So I need to right-click this and choose a new search folder. And you can see that these are the, the options made available to me from Outlook. Now, this is the one that I'm interested in, but just to briefly to go over some of these, if I wanted to filter all of my mail to show only ones that were sent directly to me rather than being CC'd in a, in a group, then I can do that. I can look at just those. <clears throat> if I want to see only mail that was sent with an attachment, then I can put a search folder there and it'll look through my entire inbox for those as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but the one that we're interested in today is the unread mail. So I'm going to choose this and it puts unread mail down here in my search folders. But that's only half of the the victory here because now I can see all of my unread mail but it put it down here in this folder and it's the same reason I don't want to have to open all these. I don't want to have to scroll down to unread mail and see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this folder, the unread mail folder, and I'm going to choose show in favorites. And what that's going to do is put it up here above my inbox and I'll even push it a little higher so it's the very first thing that I see. So whether this is collapsed or expanded, I can see that I actually have 63 total unread mail messages, only 35 of which are in my inbox. The rest of them live in these other folders. So when I click on unread mail, <coughs> it shows me uh, by folder all of the messages that are in here. So in the time report folder, I have 16 unread messages, and I can collapse that. 36 items in my inbox, 35 of them are unread, and then I can go through and see that. So not only does it show me all of them all in just one page here, but it also shows me where they live and uh, and I can expand and collapse them as I want to make it easier to jump just to the area that I need. So by filtering this, I only see the unreads, uh, which is a lot easier than having to scroll through my inbox and get all the way down here to the one that you know I left as unread for historical reasons or for whatever reason I did it. So that's it. I hope you find that useful and good luck.